out of the three Madani Surahs of the last group, two were definitely in the form of a pair. Surah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Surah Al-Fatih. But Surah Al-Hujarat was solitary, unique. It has no pair. In the same way, out of these seven Makki Surahs, the first of which was Surah Al-Qaf, this Surah Qaf is unique and solitary. But the rest of the six surahs are divisible into three pairs. And you will see that the same relationship between Surah Al-An'am and Surah Al-A'raf. In one surah you will find At-Taskir bi ayyam illah. In the other At-Taskir bi ala illah. So for two groups it is very evident. But the third and final group, that is a very unique group in the whole of Qur'an, we shall discuss later when we reach there, inshallah. Wazariyat is one. By the scattering winds that scatter dust. We have one surah before which started in this style. Wasafat is affan. Fazajirat is ajran. Faltariyat is ikran. So that was surah to Safat. And there we know that it was the angels you know, who are mentioned over there. But here, these are the winds. And you may note it, this reh, the Arabic for wind, reh, and ruh, for the soul, for the spirit. They are also very close. Wow and ya, they are actually huruf illat, weak alphabets of the Arabic language that take each other's place. Alternatingly. As I told you, Nar and Noor are very close to each other. So Ruh and Reh are also very close. By the scattering winds that scatter dust, then they are bearing a blood, that is, of the clouds. Then they are distributing the affairs, that is, whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands, the rain comes. Others, you know, keep dry. إِنَّمَا تُوْعَدُونَ لَصَادِقُونَ What you are being promised is surely true. وَإِنَّ الدِّينَ لَوَاقِعِ And definitely, the recompense is sure to happen. This is the main theme of these surahs. إِنَّمَا تُوْعَدُونَ لَوَاقِعِ إِنَّمَا تُوْعَدُونَ لَصَادِقُونَ وَإِنَّ الدِّينَ لَوَاقِعِ Whatever is being promised with you, that the day will come, when you would have to stand before your Lord for that grand accountability, and then you know you will have to face the results of your deeds. In the matu aduna la sadikun wa in the la waqe. What you are promised is surely true, and the recompense is sure to come. But sama is at the hubak by the heaven full of paths. In the kum la fi qarin muqtalifin. Surely you are at variance in your sayings. Turned away from this truth is he who has been diverted. These conjecturers will perish. Who are in an abyss and neglectful. They ask, when shall be the day of, re of recompense? You say it will come, when it will come? Yawmahum ala nari yuftanoon. It will be the day when they shall be punished in the fire. Zuku fitnatakum. And it will be said, Now taste your punishment. Hadha alladhi kuntum bihi tastajaloon. This is what you sought to be hissened. Inna al-muttaqeena fi jannati wa'yoon. Surely the God-fearing will be in the gardens and springs. Aakhizina ma atahum rabbuhum. They will be receiving that which their Lord will give them. إِنَّهُمْ كَانُوا قَبْلَ ذَلِكَ مُحْسِنِينَ They were before this, before coming here, in the hereafter, in the world, in their previous life. They were excellent in deeds, مُحْسِنِينَ كَانُوا قَلِيلًا مِنَ اللَّيْلِ مَا يَحْجَعُونَ They used to sleep, but little at night. They used to keep awake. قُمِ اللَّيْلَ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا نِسْوَهُ وَبِنْ قُسْمٍ هُوَ قَلِيلًا وَبِلْ أَسْحَارِهُمْ يَسْتَغْفِرُونَ And again before the dawn, they, they used to ask the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
فی اموالهم حق للسائل والمحروم and in their wealth there was a necessary portion for the beggar and the deprived وفی الارض آیات للموقنین and in the earth there are signs for those who are convinced or who want to be convinced وفی انفسکم and within your own selves also there are our signs افلاتو شرون don't you see can't you peep down into your hearts? وَفِي السَّمَاءِ رِزْقُكُمْ وَمَا تُوَعْدُونَ And in the heaven is your sustenance and that which you are promised. فَوَرَبِّ السَّمَاءِ وَالْأَرْضِ So by the Lord of heaven and earth إِنَّهُ لَحَقٌ مِسْلَ مَا أَنْتُمْ تَنْتِقُونَ This is surely the truth just as you are speaking. Just we are talking to each other in the same way this day of judgment will come. حالت آقا حدیث ضائف ابراہیم المکرمین has the story of the honored guests of ابراہیم علیہ السلام came to you is دخلو علیہ the angels you know which were sent to bring the chastisement to the two cities twin cities of Sodom and Gomorrah which were destroyed by Allah سبحانہ وتعالی they first of all came to ابراہیم we have read it several times is دخلو علیہ when they entered upon him, فَقَالُوا سَلَامًا They said, سَلَامًا, peace. قَالَ سَلَامٌ Now in reply, Ibrahim also said, peace. قَوْمُمْ مُنْكَرُونَ But you are a people unknown to me. I don't know you. Maybe this he said in his heart only. فَرَاغَ إِلَىٰ أَهْلِهِ So he turned to his family. وَجَا فَجَا فَجَابِهِ اِجْلِنْ سَمِينٍ and he brought a roasted calf فَقَرَّبَهُ إِلَيْهِمْ and he laid it before them قَالُوا لَا قَالَ عَلَىٰ تَاكُلُونَ he said do you not eat فَعُجَ سَمِنْهُمْ خِيفَةً so he conceived a fear from them because in those days it was the practice of people who went somewhere to kill somebody they won't taste the salt of that person whom they are going to kill. So, Ibrahim thought, alayhi salatu was salam, that they want to do some harm to me, that is why they are not eating, you know, from my table. فَعَوْ جَسَ مِنْ رُخِيفَ So he conceived a fear from them. قَالُوا لَا تَخَفْ They said, don't have any fear. وَبَشَّرُوهُ بِغُلَامٍ عَلِيمٍ And they gave him the good tidings of a knowledgeable son. For Hazrat Ishaq, Alim. And for Hazrat Ismail, Halim. As I told you, this word Halim appears in the Quran either for Allah or twice for Ibrahim and once for Ismail. For nobody else in the whole of Quran. But compared to Ismail, he was termed Halim. Here, Ishaq is termed Halim. Halim. Knowledgeable. فَاقْمَلْ تِمْرَاتُهُ فِي سَرَّتٍ Then came forward his wife, Hazrat Sarah رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ with loud grumbling فَسَكَّتْ وَجْهَهَا And she smote her face, struck her face وَقَالَتْ عَجُوزَ نَقِيمٌ And she said, an old barren woman She was nearly 99 at that time of age and all the life she had been barren Hazrat Ibrahim was hundred years. So she said, is it possible? What are you saying? Ajuzu naqib. I am very old. And then I have been barren all the life. Talu kazalik. They said, this will happen. Tala rabbuke. This is the saying of your Lord. Innahu huwa al-hakimul alim. Verily, he is the wise, the knower. Tala fa maqad bukum ayyuh al-mursaloon. Now Ibrahim asked them, what's your mission? O people who have been sent, O messengers. They said, we have been sent upon a guilty, for a guilty people. So that we may send down upon them stones of clay. Not from your Lord for the criminals. Then we took out such believers as were there in, in that city. 
but we didn't find in that city except one house of the Muslims, house of Lut alayhi salatu wasalam. He himself and his two daughters, that's all. Not even his own wife. وَتَرَكْنَا فِيهَا آيَةٍ لِلَّذِينَ يَخَافُونَ الْعَذَابَ الْأَلِيمِ And we left there in a sign for those who fear the painful chastisement. وَفِي مُوسَى And also there are signs in the story of Musa alayhi salatu wa salam. إِذَا سَلْنَاهُ إِلَىٰ فِرْعَوْنَ بِسُلْطَانِ مُبِينَ When we send him to Fir'aun with the manifest authority. فَتَوَلَّا بِرُكْنِهِ He turned away arrogantly on account of his might, power. وَقَالَ سَاهِرٌ أَوْ مَجْنُونَ And he said about Musa, either he is a sorcerer or a mad man. فَأَخَذْنَاهُ وَجْنُودَهُ So we seized him and his hosts and armies. فَنَمَذْنَاهُمْ And we threw them فِي الْيَمْبِ In the sea. وَهُوَ مُلِيمُ And he was blameworthy. وَفِي عَادٍ In the same way, there are signs in the story of Aad. إِذَا سَلَّا عَلَيْهِمُ الرُّيَا الْعَقِيمِ When we sent against them a barren wind, مَا تَذَرُوا مِنْ شَيْنْ أَتَتْ عَلَيْهِ It left nothing it came upon. إِلَّا جَعَلَتْهُ كَرْرَمِينَ But it made it like ashes. وَفِي سَمُودَ In the same way, in the story of Samud. إِذْ قِيلَ لَهُمْ تَبَقْعُوا هِدَاهِينَ When it was said to them, now you can enjoy the comforts for a while. فَعَتَوْ نَمْرِ رَبِّهِمْ They revolted against the command of their Lord. فَأَخَذَتْهُمُ السَّائِقَةُ وَهُمْ يَنْذُرُونَ And so a thunderbolt seized them while they were beholding. فَمَسْتَطَعُوا مِنْ قِيَامٍ وَمَا كَانُوا مُنْتَصِرِينَ Now they couldn't stand up. They couldn't rise up. And nor they were able to defend themselves or to take revenge for themselves. وَقَوْمَ نُوْهِ مِنْ قَبْلِ And before them, the nation of Nuh, إِنَّهُمْ كَانُوا قَوْمًا فَاسِقِينَ Verily, they were also transgressing people. Now these were the Amba'ur Rusul, Lut, then Hud, Nuh, Saleh, all have been mentioned. Hazrat Musa, they have been mentioned. But about Ibrahim, not of that type, not Ambao Rusul, but only an event that the angels came to him and they had a conversation. وَالسَّمَاءَ بَنَيْنَاهَا بِأَيْدٍ وَإِنَّا لَمُوسِعُونَ And the heaven, we have made it with our own hands. What does it mean? With our own might. وَإِنَّا لَمُوسِعُونَ And we are able to extend the vastness of the space thereof. We can expand. Now this comes, or we should say, the theory of expanding universe comes very near to this. We have created the heaven and we can expand it. So that expansion, theory of the expanding universe. Now this has come very close to this ayah of Quran. And the land, earth, we spread it. So how excellent spreaders are we? وَمِن كُلِّ شَيْنْ خَلَقْنَا زَوْجَيْنْ لَعَنْ لَكُمْ تَذَكَّرُونَ And out of everything we have created pairs that you may be admonished. Then what is the admonishment or reminding in this reality that everything has been created in pairs? There should be a pair of this life. Life of this world and the life of hereafter. They go to make something complete. Otherwise, this life is incomplete. Here, whosoever doing wrong, he is not punished. Whosoever is doing good, he doesn't get the reward. So this is an illogical life of this world. It will be completed and become logical only when you add to it the life of the hereafter. So this is a couple. This earth and the sky, they are a couple. From there, water comes, and then earth gives out its vegetation. Just as man and woman, they both go to make, you know, a fulfill a purpose of procreation. Neither only male can procreate, nor only female can procreate, except Mary, Maryam, alayhi salatu wasalam, but that was an exception by the command of Allah. 
But you need a male and a female for procreation. So this is everything we have created in pairs that you may be admonished and reminded. فَفِرُّوا إِلَى اللَّهِ So run you towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. إِنِّي لَكُمْ مِنْهُ نَذِيرُ مُبِينَ Verily, I am a plain warner from him to you. وَلَا تَجْعَلُوا مَعَ اللَّهِ إِلَهًا آخَرُ And don't set up with Allah another God. إِنِّي لَكُمْ مِنْهُ نَذِيرُ مُبِينَ Surely, I am a plain warner from him to you. كَذَلِكَ مَا عَتَ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ مِنْ رَسُولٍ إِلَّا قَالُوا سَاهِرٌ أَوْ مَجْنُونٌ In the same way, whenever a messenger came to those who were before them, they always said, either he is a sorcerer or a madman, مَجْنُونٌ أَتَوَاسَوْ بِهِ Had they handed over some legacy, those people of the ancient had given this will to them, that you should also say the same to your messenger, which we said for our messenger, بَلُمْ قَوْمُ تَعْوُونَ Nay, they are an transgressing people. فَتَوَلَّ عَنْهُمْ So, O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, you turn away from them. فَمَا أَنْتَ بِمَلُومْ You are not going to be reproached. If they are not believing in you, if they are not responding to your da'wah, your call, no blame to you. You have to do your duty and that's all. They will be blamed. They will be blameworthy. They will be caught. They will be seized. They will be punished. You are not going to be reproached. But go on admonishing. Go on reminding. Because if this admonition or reminding is not benefiting these people, it definitely benefits those who believe. Repetition, repetition for the mu'mineen. Reminding and reminding and reminding. So that they are reminded again and again of their covenant with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of their consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ And I have not created the jinn and the humans except for the purpose that they should obey me, they should worship me, they should love me, they should adore me. This Friday, you know, I gave this sermon, Friday sermon on this subject, this ayah. This is the purpose of creation. And I gave the Persian couplet of Shaykh Sadi Rahmatullah there. Zindagi amat barae bandagi. Zindagi be bandagi sharmindagi. This life has been given to us for worshipping and loving and obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I explained what is ibadah? Total obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Total. But with extreme love for Him. These two things go to make ibadah. Total obedience. You have love, but you are not obeying. This is cancelled. You are obeying, but not loving. This is also cancelled. Because you obey even the tyrants, even the dictators, even the oppressors. Is obeying Allah like that? No. Obey Him, but this obedience has to be total. From the depths of your hearts, out of extreme love for Him. I don't want any sustenance from them. I don't want that they should feed me. In the Lahu or Razakhul Kubatil Mateen. On the contrary, Allah is Himself the bestower of sustenance and the Lord of power and ever strong. Finally, Lazina Zalamu, Zanuma Mishnah Dunuba Sabim. So those who do evil shall have their own portion, like the portion of their companions of the past. What happened to them will happen to these, these people also. So let them not hasten it. So woe to those who disbelieve for the day of theirs which they are promised.